The special birthday mass held at the residence of the Otto General was organized to appreciate God for the life of the Archbishop Emeritus and also to show that he is still loved in the Archdiocese despite retirement from active spiritual duties several years ago. The mass officiated by his successor, Most Reverend Augustine Akubese, attracted Catholic clergy across the country, including the Bishop Emeritus of Ondo Diocese, Most Reverend Francis Alonge. The way he is, he's still witnessing to the life of Christ, the way he's living in retirement. So he still started living in the Lord a long time ago, and he's still living in the Lord, and we thank God. The celebrant, who they say believes so much in unity in diversity, founded the Congregation of Sisters of the Sacred Heart of Jesus in April 1975. We are glad that God has kept him this while, and we ask that the rest of the, his life that he will continue to find joy and peace. A lot of blessings and abundance flow into his life. And you can see now, peace, love, happiness, even at old age, is a great blessing to us. From the prayer of a person, you come to discover the fate of the person. Through the prayer of Archbishop Ibu, we come to see his genuine love for the church and the work of God. He was a great archbishop when he was in office. He helped to build the archdiocese for which we are all proud. After the holy man's final blessing by the celebrant, a 147-page book on the prayer life of the Archbishop Emeritus was unveiled. It's not human making, it's a gift of God. Let us always bear that in mind. Length of days is a gift of God. Most Reverend Patrick Ebu was ordained a Catholic priest in 1957 and consecrated as bishop in 1971. In 1994, he became the first Archbishop of Benin Metropolitan See. He served in God's vineyard for 56 years as a priest, 48 years of which he was a bishop. As co-adjutor for two years with Bishop Patrick Kelly, Archbishop Ebu was the chief shepherd of Benin and Benin Metropolitan See for 33 years and became the Archbishop Emeritus after retirement from active service 13 years ago. In Benin, Jude Aweke, NTA News.